Hi, I'm Peter from Needless.com. I've been using this tool for 14 years. I've been installing carpet for 20. 14 years ago, I developed knee and back pain, and I thought I'd have to end my career. But thanks to this tool, uh, I'm able to still install today. I'm going to give you some demonstrations of how to use this uh, carpet stretcher. As you see, we've got the door fastened and seamed. Um, we're going to go adjacent to that and just uh, get some of the slack out of it. We'll go uh, on a slight angle to the wall. And one, two, three. As you can see, that gave a slight stretch there. And we're going to come back here and just, just set this wall here. A little bit of a stretch, not too hard. As we go, you can see we're moving the carpet up the wall and along the wall, all in one motion. As you see, the, the carpet's buckling here, which means we're moving it up the wall. We finish off the corner. All one done. this and get her tighter all right now we have uh, two walls hooked now I'm going to start over here where we left off on this wall, finished off the corner. Just a little bit of time is all it takes. On an angle, moving it up the wall and along the wall, all in one motion. In. Now it's just a matter of uh, trimming, tucking, and then we'll go finish off this closet. Okay. As you can see, I've, I've hooked the entrance to the door, everything's nice and tight in here. So now this room is basically ready to, to stretch. Now I want you to keep in mind that we're not stretching straight to the wall and then we're stretching from this point to that point bringing it along the wall and up the wall all in one motion Now we're going to go across from here getting our L. One, two, three, and one more. Good. Okay, so now we've got this wall hooked and this wall hooked. Now we're going to finish off the other two walls. Is 
two guys stop about a foot off the off the corner of the wall. And go back here. And you can feel it getting tighter. wall of a room to be installed and just give you a close-up of and slow motion of how how this works you see you set the stretcher into it push it down we're working it up the wall and along the wall all in one motion you see how the pucker's starting here that means we're moving it that way Just like that. Okay, another thing to keep in mind with the Nudus Carp stretcher. There's about a two inch stroke on this thing. Um, you don't necessarily have to use a full two inch stroke every time you stretch. Now in this case, I'm going to get this, the slop out of this length here. So I'm, it's my first stretch of the room. So in this case, I'm going to get a full two inches just to get all get up all the extra slop out of the room, out of this length. Okay, as you can see, we snugged this up, so we're going to just set this wall just a little bit. Again, slight angle to the wall. As you can see, we're perfectly moving the arm on the stretch. It's just, but I am bringing it up to the corner. You can see by the bubbles how this is working. Some people say, okay, that, that's a pretty small room. It can be done just as well in a larger room. Just split it into quadrants. You go halfway down the room, stretch it across. Halfway the other way, stretch it across, and then pull your corners in. Simple as that.